Happy Halloween, the evening before All Saints Day. Tomorrow is All Saints Day and the next day is All Souls Day. And on the evening of Halloween, children will come and knock on your door dressed as scary monsters and ask for sweets. As a parent, I'm not very scared of monsters, but I am scared of what all the sweets do to my children, but I still participate. Halloween takes place on the eve of All Saints Day. And All Saints Day has been celebrated since the 4th century AD. Uh, later on, it was moved to the 1st of November when the Basilica, uh, when in the Basilica of St. Peter, a chapel was dedicated to all the saints on, first of, on the 1st of November. In the ancient tradition, holy days would always be celebrated with a, a vigil that would start be, before them. And so we have the tradition of, of Christmas carols on Christmas Eve or an all-night vigil the night before Easter Sunday, a time to prepare ourselves for the good news that is proclaimed on that day. And so as we think about All Saints Day, we have to ask ourselves, what is a saint? And sometimes we have some funny ideas of what a saint is because of what Protestants have come to believe that Catholics believe about saints, which is a lot of it not true. But a saint is somebody who is sanctified, sanctified by the grace and the, the love of God. And so in the Catholic tradition, someone would be canonized or beatified if they were recognized to show that they were saved by God's love. In Romans chapter 6, verse 22, Paul refers to our being made holy, hagios, the Greek word for holy. But now that you've been freed from sin and enslaved to God, the advantage you get is sanctification. The end is eternal life. This reminder that God is saving us or sanctifying us, making us holy, making us more like Jesus. And the promise that we have in what God is doing is eternal life, no fear of death. Romans 6, 4, he reminds us that we have died with Jesus in our baptism and we have been raised from the dead so we can walk in newness of life. He reminds us that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. A reminder that we are being sanctified for heaven, sanctified for holiness. But now that you've been freed from sin and enslaved to God, the advantage you get is sanctification. The end is eternal life. And so in the New Testament, you'll often find reference to the saints. In the New Testament, saints refers to the members of the Christian community, those who are considered holy. And if you if you read them, you'll discover that not very many of them are as holy as you had hoped. But this word, saints, for the people of the church, was a word about the hopefulness that we have, that God is at work in them. First, we receive that they have received holiness through what God has done through Jesus for them. And so we do on All Saints Day remember what God has done in making us holy. And secondly, we celebrate that we are being sanctified as we become more and more like Jesus. And so in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, Paul blesses the congregation as he says his farewells, May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely. May your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus. And so those medieval morality plays were much like the cartoons that we watched when we were young. A little devil would stand on somebody's shoulder and an angel on the other and they would have this conflict within themselves. In medieval times, actors would dress up as angels and demons and contest for the souls of the people in the play. But the advantage of those actors that dressed up as angels and demons was that they could go parading through the town and knocking on doors and terrifying the people to say that, that they need to enter into this contest between heaven and hell. We don't need to fear those demons and those little monsters because we have this promise in God. Freed from sin, enslaved to God, sanctified, the end is eternal life. And so on Halloween, we don't celebrate nonsense like the devil's birthday or demons or anything. The little monsters are there to remind us of, of the way that we, we find ourselves caught between. But on All Saints Halloween, we remember Halo, saints in Old English, and Ween, evening, 
as we remember All Saints Day and remember what Jesus has done for us. So I wish you a happy evening before All Saints Day. A happy Halloween. God bless.